this is Jennifer and Honey Bear, and it's Fan Friday. It's time for Fan Friday. There's the girls. Oakley's over there sleeping. As you can see, sitting behind Memphis's head is a stack of Christmas cards. Our Christmas cards will actually start going out in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. Um, and for those of you that have asked, we aren't actually doing that video until next week. So even though we said the cards had to be here by the 20th, there still is a couple of extra days for you guys to get your cards to us. And we'll show them in the video where we show all the Christmas cards that we got. If they don't make it to us in time for the video, we will still show them in Fan Friday as we get them. So you still have time to send us a card. Craig had a very good question. How often should I be brushing out my Husky's winter coat? He's not shedding much and I don't want to take away his winter protection. Um, you should still be brushing your dog about every day, every other day. If they're not shedding a lot, you don't have to brush them for very long. You know, just go over, go over their coat with the brush a couple times and be done with it. Um, I really don't think you're going to hurt their winter protection because if they're not shedding, then that, that thick coat isn't going to come out very easily. See? Not coming out at all. Jordan wants to know if there is a such thing as a mellow husky. I would say our old dog Shiloh, she was pretty mellow. She didn't get mellow till she was about two years old, but yeah, there, there are mellow huskies. Samantha says, why is it that I am home with my husky, I feed her, I give her treats, I take her out, I give her love, but she listens to my husband and not me? Um, apparently because she sees your husband as higher up in the pack than you. She may see you as being on the same level as her, but she may see your husband as actually being at the, the alpha of the pack. Could be why. Not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you would hope that she would listen to you too, but she may just see you as an equal. Emily wants to know, what kind of dog treats do you feed the girls after they come in from outside in the backyard? We actually use a lot of different treats. At our local feed store here, they sell some all-natural treats in bulk, and we usually buy different flavors of, of those each week. Or we use treats that we've gotten from uh, Pet Box, or we use treats that we've made. Jennifer says, for last Wednesday's video, you put that camera on Memphis. Have you ever put it on Shelby, and does she freeze like when you put costumes on her? Yes, we have put it on Shelby, and yes, she did freeze. And actually, on our channel, which I'll try to remember to link down in the video description, we did a video like that with Shiloh a couple years ago. Um, wasn't as cute as Memphis's video. For some reason, Memphis's video turned out really cute, but I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description so you can see the video we did with Shiloh with that same camera on her back. Melissa says, My husky wants everybody to scratch her on her rump. Could it be dry skin or just her favorite spot? Let's see if Shelby will let me do it. Shelby, can I get you right here? That's Shelby's favorite spot. She's going to follow me around. It's going to be very hard to video. You can see her tail going. There's her. Oh, there she goes. Oh, is that your favorite spot? Oh, that's your favorite spot. Look, look at Yeah. There's the look. That's the best spot right there, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's Shelby's favorite spot, too. And when... Oh, I know. Now you're mad that I stopped. And actually, if Oakley will let me do it. Can I... No. Oakley will let you scratch there too, but only when she wants to. And then if she lets you do it, she doesn't want you to stop. It's her favorite spot too. I'm sorry I stopped. Jamie wants to know, where can we get a sled like one of yours? The small sled that I use in a lot of my videos is a Canadian kick sled. You can order them from blackicedogsledding.com. They're handmade sleds. They're made in Canada. The other sled that I have was actually made by a friend of mine and his father, and that's a full-size sprint dog sled. And I believe you can actually buy those from alpineoutfitters.net, which is where I also buy all of my harnesses and my lines from. Christine says, in one of your old videos, you show Shiloh and Shelby playing with a dragon toy that both of them couldn't destroy. Do you still have the toy, or did they finally break it? For those of you wondering, if you actually go to YouTube and search for Shiloh Siberian Husky Slays a Dragon, you'll see what video she's talking about. And there is one dragon still in one piece. You want it, Shelby? And there's two dragons still in one piece. And they've actually been through the washer a few times too. I don't think I don't think either of them honk anymore. Does that one honk, Shelby? Let me see it. I don't think they do. This one might. Nope. Neither of them honk anymore. But they are still in one piece. This is a pretty good investment on the toy right there. 
Hannah says, have you ever thought about using outdoor kennels for your dogs while you're at work? No. Our dogs stay in here where it's safe, where it's climate controlled, where they can hang out on the couch. Look at that. Oakley's actually leaning up against me. You took up the whole couch too, Oakley. It's probably what she does when I'm at work too. No, our dogs stay in the house when we're not home. I wouldn't want to leave them outside in the rain and the wind and the cold and the nasty weather. They can stay in here. Anno wants to know, what's all this hype about Siberians with blue eyes? Why, why does everybody think blue eyes are cooler? I don't know. I have two with blue eyes and one with brown eyes, and I don't think it's the color of their eyes that make them cool. I think it's their personalities that make them cool. I think that Shelby is just as beautiful as Oakley, who's just as beautiful as Memphis, who's just as beautiful as Shiloh was. Are you seriously sleeping and snoring? Can we get that on camera? Can you guys hear? Oh, I think she's awake. <laughs> oh, did we wake you up? Sorry about that. Man, she was out. She was super out. We got some mail. We got some mail. Memphis, you want to come see what we got in the mail? Come here. There you are. We got a letter with the cool drawing from Noah with some treats. What do you think, girls? You want a treat? Ooh, Me Memphis. Memphis, you can't take that. It's for Oakley. Memphis, here, look. Memphis, here. You get one, too. She's so grabby. What do you think? You want one, too? Oh, candy cane rawhide. What do you think of that? Look at, look where, where did Oakley go? Right into her kennel. She's like, okay, I'm hiding in the kennel. Don't take Shelby's. You have your own. Thanks for sending those, Noah. I think they will enjoy those. I actually think they're going to enjoy them right now. <laughs> and we got a drawing from Libby. Libby also sent a Christmas card, which will go in the Christmas card video. And we got a letter and some awesome dog treats from Bryce. And Bryce runs an organization called Saving Paws. And in his letter he said that he has raised over $500 so far to help buy supplies for shelters and they're working on becoming a true nonprofit organization. That is awesome. I love it when people take take the initiative to go out and try to help raise money for homeless animals in shelters. That's awesome. I also got a Christmas card from them, but that will go in the Christmas card video. And we got a letter from McKenna. McKenna also sent us a Christmas card, which will go in the Christmas card video. Uh, but she also sent us this letter and it says, what is your name? My name is Jessica. Do you keep everything you get in the mail? Yeah, I actually have a box of stuff and I think I'm going to need another box pretty soon. If so, where do you keep it? Uh, in my office, I have a box of stuff. Some of the stuff gets hung on the wall and the rest of the stuff goes in a box. I have plans to scan all of these things and put them up on our Facebook page, but I don't know when I'll find time to do that. <laughs> We also got a letter from Jake, and Jake is looking to find a husky in Illinois. So if anybody out there in Illinois knows of a good husky breeder or a husky rescue or any huskies available in a shelter out there, post it in the comments below and say, Hey Jake, here's one. And we got some drawings, and I don't actually know who they're from, but there's one of Oakley, one of Shelby, one of Memphis, and one of Shiloh. We got a letter from Megan and her dog Tux, and they want to know what is the furthest distance you have traveled with your dogs? I believe it was 1600 miles and it was a trip to the Upper Peninsula that we made over the course of four days and we drove a total of 1600 miles. And we got a letter from Jo Lynn with these cool little animations of the girls. That one was of Memphis. This one is of Oakley. This one is of Shelby. Oh, come on, turn the page. And then this one is of Shiloh. And look, it even has wings. <laughs> How cute. Thanks for sending those. Then we got a drawing of Shiloh, and it says from YouTube user ASPCA. Kind of sounds like the actual ASPCA. <laughs> How'd you end up getting that name? Then we got these really cool drawings from Savannah. Savannah says, I can't draw animals, so I drew your pets as humans, which I think are super cool. I can't draw like that. That's, that's a Memphis personality. This is a Shelby personality. It's so funny because I've gotten two of these now and you guys do so well drawing human personalities for the dogs. And I love this. Look, it's an Oakley personality. That's cool. I don't care if they're not animal drawings of the dogs. I still think they're cool and you are a very good artist. 
I bet you could draw a dog if you really tried. You could do it. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Again, if you didn't get your card to us by, because today is the 20th, and I said they had to be big yawn, be in by the 20th. If you didn't get it in by today, that's okay. I haven't done the video yet. I haven't started answering the Christmas cards yet. That is tomorrow's project after work. Um, you still have time. Any cards I get before we do the video will go in the video. Any cards we get after the video will go in Fan Fridays. So, and any cards we get even after the video, we are still going to send you back a Christmas card. Apparently, Memphis wants to go outside and play in the snow, so I better go before we have a Memphis accident. We haven't had one of those in a long time. We don't need to have one now. Right, baby? Oh, you want to go outside too? Want to go outside too? Okay. You want to go outside? You don't, you just want, oh, you just want to lay there? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you. When are we going to see him? Maybe on... Maybe on Sunday for a snow dog short. I don't know. Depends on what we do this weekend. <laughs> Goodbye!